What's good, YouTube? I'm back with another video. But first, before we get into it, I want to say thanks to anybody who watched the previous video on how to get the beta for Modern Warfare 2 on your Xbox downloaded and ready to go. We are sitting at 30.1K views with a nice 299 hours of watch time. Click-through rate was all the way up to 33% at some points, and we have over 112,000 impressions. These numbers I'm seeing are somewhat delayed because that's just how it works on YouTube. So far, as of today, we've gained an extra 52 followers off that video. Just wanted to say appreciate it. Thank you. It's going great. It's looking beautiful. So what we're going to be talking about is your settings on Modern Warfare 2. So you want to go into your controller settings and you don't have to change all of these, but a lot of them will help you out. So as far as your button layout, I put mine on tactical. So therefore, it just, it's just what I used to play on. So it helps you slide cancel, but slide cancel is gone so far. I don't know if they can add that in, but I've not been able to do no type of slide cancellations in Modern Warfare 2. So I put that on because I'm used to crouching with my analog. So that's what I keep it on. And I don't flip none of this stuff right there. Controller vibration, I turn that on because when it's off, it's just don't feel right now i'm fine with it i'll just go ahead and let my batteries die a little bit quicker if you're not used to the high speed sensitivities don't don't even change it from what you're used to just put it on what you like i was using some way higher than this but for some reason on modern warfare 2 that stuff seems supersonic indubitably fast so i started off lower and then i put it on eight and i like that so now i'm rocking with 10 i don't know if i'm gonna bump that up or not but that's what I got it on. And I don't have nothing else changed, I don't believe. If you want to, you can uh, fine tune all that mess. But hey, it's up to you. I'm not fooling with it. As far as my aim down sight behavior, I got it on hold, automatic sprint. I don't want to keep pressing the button over and over. Your thumb will be feeling quite sinister. As far as automatic sprint, you can put that bad boy on automatic if you want to, or you can choose automatic tactical sprint, choice is yours, whatever floats your boat. Equipment behavior, I have it set to hold, so I don't have to do no extra uh, finagling. And then as far as the weapon mount activation, I just leave that on this. And then we got interact slash reload behavior. I have that bad boy set to tap to reload, so you don't got to do no foolishness so should keep you from accidentally picking up something when you're just trying to reload so as far as the armor plate behavior it says apply all right now if you want to um, you can choose whatever you want so you can do apply one or apply all so you don't have to keep spamming the button i'm going to leave mine on apply all next up we got the um I don't mess with none of this. I'm not going to lie to you. So if you want to you can go through here look around see what's popping see if you want to change something it's all good but I'm not fooling with it. I'm going to leave this alone. But it's a lot of stuff that we can fine tune on this game. I'm not going to lie to you. As far as the graphics are concerned, you want to turn off the motion blur. It's going to help that game run way smoother, especially if you're on one of the older consoles. I'm on the Xbox Series X, and I've had one crash, even with all these settings off. So, mm, Maybe I would have had more if I had those settings up. It just depends. But as they tweak the game and all that stuff, surely by the time the game actually comes out, we'll be fine and ready to rumble. But um, as of right now, this is what I normally do on all the games if it lets me choose it. So as far as the world motion blur, turn it off. Weapon motion blur, turn it off. Film grain, I don't want none of that. Turn it off. Depth of field. Again, I don't want none of that, so I turn it off. And as far as the fidelity situation, you can turn it on if you want to. And I did, and I put it to 100. And as you see right here, it says it actually um, sharpens the scene render using such and such. So it enhances all that. So it looks pretty cool to me. This is the most biggest change you got to do. You have to change your F O v the situation to 120 as far as the ads field of view i go ahead and let it be on independent so it can zoom in to give me a little clearer situation when i'm blasting somebody from across the map or a ways away because the other option in my opinion is quite ridiculous as far as the weapon field of view i leave it on default i change this back and forth but i didn't notice a difference i don't know if it'll take effect the next time i play the game do i gotta die in the match i have no clue so i left it on default as far as the third person field of view, I put it on 90 as well. And then you can change the vehicle field of view if you want to. And I didn't mean to click out of there. As far as the brightness, obviously just set it to what yours is supposed to be for your monitor or television situation. 
And yeah, so those are the only settings that I changed inside of this bad boy here. And as always, if this video helped you out, please slam the like button. It's greatly appreciated. Consider subscribing and also down below, comment a fire emoji so I can know you made it to the end of the video. And if you did that, you are the real MVP and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.